All right, so as promised in a previous video, I was gonna do a cadmium test on some knockoff Pokemon figures. I have a solution here, which it doesn't test how much cadmium, it just tests if there is any present at all. I've already mixed the solution, so you didn't have to wait five minutes for me to do that. So first, I need to clean the surface of the figure I want to test with rubbing alcohol for, for one minute. All right, now let me flip the Q-tip around here and, add some, and clean these ones because that one has to dry. take a drop of the indicating solution and one clean q-tip soak up that solution and we place it on here if it turns a light blue or or no it's a, if it turns a dark blue or purple color. Let's see, what does it say exactly? All right. It says any violet or blue color change is a positive test. All right, we got it on there. I already see a little bit of blue. It said it'll take one to 10 minutes. So we'll put this one over here and we'll put the Knock off Slowpoke, which looks really weird, anyways. So, uh, yeah. And uh, we'll test the next one. And we'll take a Q tip. Soak up that solution and do a test here. All right. It looks like we've got a little bit of well. It's only a little bit of blue. Now we've got to do a test to compare the color change of, of an unused one or an unswabbed one. Because even in, if you don't swab it, there's going to be a little dab of blue, but it's how much of a color change there is. All right. But while we're at it, we'll test, while we're waiting, we'll test another. Yeah, the Jack's Pacific uh, brand Pokeball. We'll use the other side of this Q-tip to test this one. Oops, I need to. Yeah, I can't. Can't let my hands get on the Q-tip. That's why I have to wear this glove. All right. All right. So now we have something to compare with. All right. It's been about five minutes since we ran the check on that one. And uh, 
this one, which looks completely not like Pikachu at all because of the tail, does not appear to have tested positive, but we still have five minutes. The Slowpoke does not appear to have tested positive. Our control does not seem to have tested positive. Nor has the legitimate figure either. Okay, well, before the video cut out, I was going to say, I was going to turn the video off and wait five minutes for these to change color anyways. So, we'll see what we've got here. For the control, we have nothing. This one was one where we just dipped it straight into the solution and didn't swab it against anything. Which there's a tiny bit of blue on there from that. But that's just because that's what color the solution is. The, so the solution is actually supposed to clear when you swab it. From Slowpoke... Seeing a little bit of, let's see if I can get a, a little bit of a, kind of a purplish or kind of a dark blue on there. And from this really bad looking Pikachu figure, got a little bit of blue. Or, yeah, a little bit of a dark blue. It's kind of hard to see it on the camera. So, looks like there's maybe a small amount, just I've never used this kit before, so compared to the Now, compared to the one that we did not swab it against or anything, and that knockoff Pikachu looks like it's shown a pretty clear result. It's very hard for it to show up on this camera. Well, let me get a completely clean Q-tip. And you can see the difference that way because it's really not, there we go, it kind of looks green on this camera. So, yep, not saying that all of them will test positive, in fact, I wouldn't even say the Slowpoke one is definitive because yeah, it's very little on there. Nevertheless, I don't really recommend buying the knockoff Pokemon toys because they just look terrible anyways. And I will be uh, working, will be getting my money back for these because I'm not paying $65 for, for knockoff Pokemon figures. That one actually doesn't look as bad as some of the other ones. In fact, is that one the same as all of them? Let me look at this one. Yeah, I don't see a brand name on it, but it's still, yeah. So, uh, thanks for watching, and 
like I've told everybody else, if you want to avoid getting the knockoffs, do not order these from China or Hong Kong. Japan is okay. So thanks for watching and have a nice day.